There's really two varieties. Most authorities maintain that there's the bush elephant and the forest elephant. They used to be considered subspecies, Loxodonta africana, but today a lot of authorities think that the forest elephant is so different that they think of it as a separate species, Loxodonta cyclotus. The difference is primarily size as far as we're concerned. A forest elephant can be up to about eight feet at the shoulder, and a bush elephant is much larger, 10 to 13 feet at the, at the shoulder. A fully mature bush elephant bull can weigh up to 15,000 pounds, and a forest elephant bull is no more than two-thirds of that, so there's a big difference. Now, the reason for considering them as a separate species, there is another very interesting difference. Uh, they have different number of toenails. The larger bush elephant will typically have four toenails on the front foot and three in the back, whereas the forest elephant, though smaller, will typically have five toenails on the front feet and four in the rear, so that's a major difference. But from a hunting perspective, the primary difference in, in hunting them is gonna be based on terrain and vegetation. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. The elephant is a prodigious feeder that has to have as much as 900 pounds of foliage every day. So elephants can very quickly deforest an area. And of course, when Africa was an unlimited wilderness, they could, they could wander at will. Today, they're in more restrictive habitats. So managing the numbers is really important. And while it's very, very true that elephant are extremely threatened, if not endangered in some areas, it's also true that they're overpopulated in others and can very quickly damage habitat. Elephants will normally water daily and have to water every other day, but with their requirement for huge food intake, they may travel many miles daily between good browse and water sources. Elephants have extremely keen hearing and uncanny sense of smell. Their eyesight isn't on par with their other senses, but it's unclear if they really can't see particularly well or if they simply place greater reliance on their two stronger senses. Elephants are social animals with a generally matriarchal society. Uh, a normal group will be a family group of about 10 females. Now, depending on available food and water, elephants may gather into much larger herds, sometimes into the many hundreds, but these are generally temporary gatherings. Although elephants are extremely slow breeders, you could expect that in a, a natural state, elephants will reproduce at about three to five percent per year. Elephant cows can reproduce at about 10 to 12 years old. Now, bulls are sexually mature as teenagers, but they usually don't reproduce until their mid-20s because they're simply not big enough or strong enough to compete for mating rights. A mature bull is about twice the size of a mature cow, but all elephants continue to grow very slowly throughout their lives. As young bulls reach puberty, they're ejected from the family group. Females may come into estrus at any time of the year, at which time bulls will join the group for breeding, with bulls fighting viciously for mating rights. Females are exceptionally good and protective mothers and are generally far more aggressive than males. However, breeding males experience an exaggerated level of testosterone accompanied by facial gland and penis secretions. You can see the facial gland secretions and you can see the penis secretions in the tracks. And man, if you're seeing that, you know you have to be careful because the bulls are gonna be very aggressive during that time. Life expectancy depends primarily on tooth wear. Elephants have four molars, with new molars growing and moving forward to replace the front pair as they wear. An elephant will replace its molars four to six times, but when the last set wears out, slow starvation is certain. Average life expectancy in the wild is about 50 years, but in areas with softer soil, such as Montana and forest environment, elephants can live up to 70 years and more. The tusks are actually incisors that continue to grow throughout an elephant's life. Although tuskless African elephants occur in both sexes, both males and females typically grow tusks, with cow ivory much smaller and thinner than bull ivory. In the old days, it was said that an elephant may grow a pound of ivory a year, but this isn't true. A bull in his 30s in his prime may grow several pounds of ivory per year, with growth slowing as he begins to age. To a degree, tusk size is somewhat dependent on body size, but genetics and minerals are probably much more important. 
While the trunk is the primary instrument in stripping leaves, elephants use their tusks for digging, for breaking branches, and for fighting. So it isn't unusual for an elephant to break one or both tusks during its long life.